Hey friends, today I am coming at you with the most fun hairstyle ever because you get to wear this hairstyle to Disney World. Oh my goodness, does it get any better than that? I don't think so. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how you get these adorable Minnie Mouse ears or Mickey Mouse ears, whatever you want to call them. And the best part is they're free. You get to use your hair and save your hard earned money um, because those ears are expensive. So stay tuned. And also if you want these adorable clips, be sure to check down in the bio um, and see what their availability is because we sell some awesome hair accessories. I'm going to begin by parting my hair directly down the middle. So I'm taking my rat tooth comb and just going all along. I kind of pre-did it for you guys because sometimes with my curly hair it gets really painful <laughs> um, to part it all the way down the middle. But I did it. We're there. And then I section my hair off so that the hair does not move as I'm doing the other side. So I'll just put him in like a low pigtail. And then I'll start working this hair up to put in the bun. So I'm using this little comb to help kind of smooth and gather everything up. So I feel like with every head shape, it's gonna be a little bit different where you wanna position the ponytail. But for me, I like to do it kind of a little bit back from my ear and still on top of my head, but at the same time, not super close to my part. So it's all about balance right there. Get my elastic. And then on the last time, I'll just take it halfway through. I'm gonna kind of pull the bun apart a little bit. And then I'll start wrapping the hair around the bun. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna adjust at the end. So I'll just go ahead and start working on the other side. So now I'm just gonna make sure they're all even. Um, obviously this one's a little bit bigger than this one, but you can fluff them out and make sure you're putting plenty of pins on there. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure they're nice and pinned, nice and secure, especially if you're gonna be riding some roller coasters. These buns lasted me all day without moving a tiny bit. And let me tell ya, I rode all of the roller coasters multiple times. So now they are nice and even as far as how pulled out they are and they've got lots of pins in them so they're going to be nice and secure throughout the day. Another thing that I want to bring up is flyaways. I have these little baby hairs down here. Um, I guess they're considered flyaways or just breakage but an easy way to get those out of the way is just to take a bobby pin, pin it and then hide it in your other hair. So this is a great way to get it out of the way, ensure it's gonna stay out of the way, and you can also add a couple extra bobby pins in your buns so that when you get more flyaways throughout the day, just pull one of them out, plop it in, and you're all set. 
If you want to spice it up a little bit, you can put some fun little hair clips in there. So I'll show you how I wore my hair clips when I went to Disney. I just kind of staggered them in the front here. And then repeat that on the other side. So here's the finished look. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I wanna see your pictures of you wearing this to Disney. Let me tell you, it was the best hairstyle. I got so many compliments. I actually got stopped by multiple people to tell me how cute it was. So you definitely have to try it. And also, if you love these adorable clips, be sure to check down in the description. They will be linked and their availability is limited. They are part of our amazing Effortless Beauty collection, but they're coming soon and also I'm sure they'll be going soon. So check down there and see if you can get them while supplies last. And again, let me see your photos. So thanks for watching y'all. We'll see you next time.